Lesson 9 Entering Transactions In this chapter also we will be discussing about entering transactions basically in this chapter we will discuss about entering expenses in a company there are various types of expenses like uh, expenses made on groceries fixed assets car repair and maintenance services or any insurance paid so how you can record all these expenses in busy that we will discuss in this particular chapter basically in busy you can use journal payment or purchase voucher to record the expenses made first here we are discussing entering registered b2b expense registered b2b expenses are those that are incurred from a registered dealer and your company name and gstin is printed on the invoice so the expenses you have made or incurred from a registered dealer that is the another party is registered under gst and the bill which you will get will have your company name and gst and printed on it so these type of expenses are called registered b2b expense so here first of all we are taking an example of uh, insurance charges as mentioned earlier also that for recording expense you can use journal payment or purchase voucher so first here we are using a journal voucher to record a registered b2b expense we are going to journal add option specify the series date gst nature we are taking as registered expense b2b then we are debiting the go down insurance account if you open this account in modify mode you can see its gst type as gst applicable tax category services 18% and its itc eligibility is input services this account is created under the head expenses indirect administrative so this is the configuration of this particular account specify the amount by which the account is to be debited next we are debiting the cgst input account and the sgst input account that is the tax we have paid on the insurance charges so we are debiting the cgst and sgst input account then we are crediting our bank account and click save button to save the voucher on saving the voucher a registered expense window will appear in which first of all you need to specify the gst report basis that is in the gst reports what all details are to be printed details are to be printed as per the party master that is the party you will select the details specified in its account master will be printed in the gst reports or details as specified below if we select the as specified below option then you need to specify the party name state type of dealer gst and data to be printed in gst reports here we are selecting as per party master option selecting the party next we are specifying the account name purchase invoice number purchase bill date hsn sc code unit is not applicable taxable amount taxable amount that is the expense amount gst percent cgst and sgst amount and the itc eligibility that is whether this expense is eligible for itc or not and if it is eligible then under which head next we are discussing entering tax paid b2c expense tax paid b2c expenses are those expenses that are incurred from a registered dealer but the invoice does not carry your company name or gstin this means that you have incurred expenses from a registered party but still the invoice you have got does not have your company name or gstin printed on it for example you have uh, bought some groceries from a departmental store that departmental store is registered under gst but the invoice you get does not have your company name or gstin so here we are entering a payment voucher for the tax paid b2c expense we are going to payment add option specify the voucher series voucher date gst nature here we are taking as tax paid b2c expense then we are debiting our groceries account if you open this account in modify mode then you can see its gst type as gst applicable tax category gst 5% and itc eligibility is none that is this expense is not eligible for itc this account is created under the head expenses indirect administrative next specify the amount by which the account is to be debited then we are crediting the cash account and clicking the save button to save the voucher next we are discussing the entering rcm unregistered expense rcm unregistered expenses are those expenses which are either incurred from unregistered dealers or that falls under the compulsory rcm or service import category so that is rcm expenses are those expenses that you have incurred from an unregistered dealer that is the dealer is not registered under gst purview or if the services you have taken falls under the compulsory rcm category or you have taken services from any foreign company for entering an rcm expense we are adding a journal voucher select the series specify the voucher date gst nature we are taking as rcm expense here we are debiting the freight charges account 
If you open this account and modify mode, you can see its GST type as GST applicable. Tax category services 5%. ITC eligibility, input services and RCM nature is compulsory. Next, specify the amount by which this account is to be debited. And then we are crediting the party from whom we have taken the services. Click save button to save the voucher. Next, we are discussing entering expense with ITC eligibility none. There are certain type of expenses which are not eligible for ITC. Whether you have incurred those expenses from a registered dealer or unregistered dealer, it doesn't matter. For example, car repair and services charges, you have uh, paid certain service charge for the car. Even if that car is for official use, that expense is not eligible for ITC. So how you can enter such transactions? Here we are taking an example of purchase voucher. Select the series, specify the date, purchase type party and then we are selecting the item as car repair and maintenance if we open this in modify mode you can see its tax category as services 18 percent its hs and ssc code is specified and its unit is taken as not applicable if the unit is taken as not applicable you can see it's don't maintain stock balance is also set to yes then we are applying the required bill sundries. You can see we are applying the CGST and SGST ITC none bill sundries. That is ITC is not eligible for this particular expense. If you open this uh, bill sundry in modify mode, you can see it's affect the cost of good in purchase is set to yes. And in the accounting in purchase part affects accounting yes, adjust in purchase amount yes, and adjust in party amount is set to yes. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, a GST reporting details window will appear in which you can specify the original purchase bill number and date. Next, we are discussing entering non-GST expense. Non-GST expense are those that do not fall under the GST purview, but still they are required to be shown in the GST reports. So here we are entering a journal voucher, specify the voucher series, date, GST nature we are taking as non-GST expense. Next, we are debiting the water and electricity expense account. As water and electricity expense are non-GST expense, so we are taking this account. Then we are crediting our bank account and clicking the save button to save the voucher. Next, we are discussing entering exempt expense. That is expenses that are exempt from GST through certain government notifications or under certain conditions. So here we are again entering a journal voucher, specifying the series, date, GST nature we are taking as exempt expense. We are debiting the books and periodicals account as books are uh, exempt items. And then we are creating the cash account. Click save button to save the voucher. Next, we are discussing entering composition expense. That is expense you have made from a composition dealer. So for this also, we are entering a journal voucher, specifying the series, date, GST in nature we are taking as composition expense. We are debiting the groceries account, specifying its amount by which the account is to be debited, then crediting the cash account and clicking the save button to save the voucher. Next, we are discussing entering expense using purchase voucher. That is how you can enter various expense using a purchase voucher. For this, we are taking an example of fixed asset account. That is, you have incurred expense on purchasing a fixed asset like plant and machinery. So we are going to purchase voucher, specifying its series, date, voucher number, purchase type. You can select as per your requirement. ITC eligibility, we are taking as capital goods and services. Since we are entering a voucher for plant and machinery, which is a capital good, so we are taking the ITC eligibility as capital goods services. Then we are selecting the item. Here we are selecting the item as goods packaging machinery. If you open this item master in modify mode, you can see its purchase account is specified as plant and machinery account and not the purchase account. Now plant and machinery account has the account group as fixed asset. Next specify the required bill sundries. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, a GST reporting details window will appear in which you can specify the original purchase bill number and date. So this is all we have to discuss in this chapter that is various types of expenses incurred in our company. At the end of the chapter, we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this chapter, you would be able to easily enter various types of expenses in busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.